Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your boy Ben, back with some piping hot tea straight from the palace. Word is King Charles is fuming over the Sussexes' latest nonsense with their imaginary ghost children. That's right, folks. Turns out H&M are refusing to let go of royal titles for their so-called kids' archie and Lily. Even after Chuck demanded they stop leeching off fake ghost kids. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more, but before we move on, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's get started. So now, I mean, at this point, it's obvious to everyone these children don't exist. Megan has given us zero proof of a free plus years now. She just uses their imaginary names to keep clinging to royal status and stir up drama. And now the palace has had enough of this nonsense. King Charles strictly commanded H&M to stop using fake ghost kids for money and attention. But of course, the Sussex squad totally ignored Chuck's demands. How dare they try to stop their skimming and leeching? The nerve, Megan and her ginger puppet still cling to those imaginary royal titles, even though the kids are clearly make-believe. Outrageous. I mean, why else refuse to show Archie and Lee to the world once in three years? That's right, because they're fictional characters in Megan's head. She's pulled this scam to extort money and titles, and the palace has finally caught on to the lies. You think H&M would comply after being called out, but oh no. They just double down on the fraud. At this point, you've got to admire Megan's commitment to doubling down on the con. She really goes in on her fantasies when exposed. But King Charles's patience has worn thin. He's had it with their antics. So now he's laying down the new law. No more leeching off made-up children relinquish their bogus titles immediately. Of course, Madam Manipulator has no intention of complying. How dare the king try to thwart their cunning plans? She'll cling to those imaginary kids and their royal status until the last moment. Anything to keep playing the victim. This is what happens when you let devious hussars like Megan into the palace. She'll exploit every loophole. Now the royal family is stuck dealing with her never-ending fantasy victim tales. What a mess. At this point, Haz has got to wake up and realised he hitched his carriage to a delusional grifter, right? But of course, the puppet prince just goes along with whatever latest manipulation his master commands. No backbone at all. In the end, the Sussex squad have no one to blame but themselves. If you make a living peddling fantasies and exploiting raw links, don't act shocked when the palace intervenes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. H&M are about to learn the lesson the hard way. I almost feel bad for them. They're so committed to their own tangled web of lies and schemes, it's become their whole reality. Oh well, stay tuned folks, we'll see if the Sussexes finally agree to relinquish their kids' bogus royal titles. Let me know what you think in the comments, do Archie and Lily even exist? Don't forget to smash those like buttons, subscribe to the notification bells. Till next time, this is Ben signing off for now.